Yo, yo, what's good you too? It's your boy Dylan. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing a song. Shit, the song I'm gonna be reviewing is Gunna Living Wild. Hey, this is really like something new for me. So yeah, this is first. We, we just gonna try this shit. Living Wild, I ain't gonna lie, Living Wild is a fire song though. Cause like, just how, Honestly, I did not know that Living Wild was a sample until like today. I didn't learn that shit till today, but I'm not surprised. It does sound like one of those sample type songs. I'm not gonna lie. And keep that Keep Sweat song, it's crazy how they can make like a fucking R&B song. They probably like just speed it up in some more shit and make it rap, add a fucking hip hop beat and some more sound effects. Alright, I think we should um what, what, now. No, you gotta keep gonna look, don't worry, son. Look like that's wrong right now. What's the name of the key sweat song? Uh Why Me Baby, that's the name of the key sweat song. Okay. Why Me Baby. I ain't never heard key sweat songs, I ain't gonna lie. Except when I used to play fucking football. I used to ride with Granada Bill, I used to play key sweat. Yeah, that shit brought back a memory. You know who you also use a lot of key sweat samples? Oh, Drake. What's what's up? We ain't talking about Drake right now. But I'm just saying, you listen to a lot of Key Sweat. Yeah. Like, like the soulful songs that people love. I ain't even, and that's why they be so soulful in hip hop music. Yeah, yeah. Like Living Wild, that shit, that shit did hit different than some of the other songs on Drip Season Forever. It was one of them ones, I ain't gonna lie. What you get a song and a rating? And five stars. Damn. Like, if I was to listen to that beat right now, and like, and I could really give you like a Right after the song rating, I don't know, but like just off the top of my head, I'd probably say like a, like a, a, a eight. I'd say like an eight. It's a five star. One oh, through five. oh, one through five stars. Uh, or oh, microphones. That's how you do it around. Three and a half. I give it three and a half. That's your favorite. What, what you gonna say? Nah, three point eight. Three point eight. There we go. Three. Point eight microphones for Gunna on Living Wild. What's the name of that album? Drip Season Four, Ever. Now look, I know you don't listen to it, Sasha. So hell yeah, is that the best song on the album? Uh, I wouldn't say that. Hold on, let me check right now. If I could say the the best song on the album to me is probably uh Flooded. I would say like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, Flooded is fire. We might have to do that one next, Flooded. So after y'all get done watching this Living Wild video, go check out the Flooded video. Yeah, but either Flooded, and I fuck with So Far Ahead, Empire too. like that's a good one too. Yeah, yeah. And look, I ain't listen to it, but you think, um, was he talking about like a lot of that stuff that they saying, like like why he in JRM? Like, like Rico and all that stuff? Mm -hmm. young I ain't gonna lie. I couldn't even tell you that shit, but like if I was to listen to that shit now, and like try to pay attention to them saying stuff about Rico charges. I wouldn't be surprised if I did catch something. But at the beginning of Living Wild though, he was like, every day we going through life and shit changes. And like, that's a big change from living in a fucking mansion to a fucking cell. Like, yeah, that's a fucking change. Bro, bro probably good though. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he is good. Like that nigga do got it. Yeah, he probably, he, nah, I don't want to say he run a cell. He probably in that bitch chilling, waiting for his court date. You remember the first week on um, sales on the down? Yeah, no, I don't even know, but I'm pretty sure. What you think he did? Gold, at least. But it dropped in 2022, though. So it probably ain't went gold yet, but that big gonna go platinum for sure. I wouldn't be, like, Gunner is a platinum artist, I would say. Yeah, Gunner. But not a nigga in jail. So you get that song three. Yeah. Okay, what about the video? The video ain't a lot. Of, I, I get a video out of five stars. I say like a four point five, cause like the video had a meaning with the song. That shit correlated. What well, what it was? What like oh yeah, at the beginning of the video, he was in the hospital, and like at first I was like, and I done seen the video plenty of times, but I just never paid it really any attention but nigga was in the hospital and then and like in the first verse he was like i just left the hospital i might need another liver 
Kenny Fagas, I tell you, this shit couldn't be no real like, you know, it's for how you started at the hospital and talking about like kidney failure. And you probably talking about kidney failure because like, nigga was drinking. Yeah, them niggas do be drinking lean. They was trying to, um, you know, it had, he had got that little backlash. It was, I mean, not that backlash, but they was trying to say, um, bro had overdose. Overdose? Damn. You know, from drinking that lean and shit. And he made a song about that shit. But guess what? They said the nigga was in, um, um, Went to the hospital for pneumonia. Who, uh, gone? Yeah, he can go for, um, kidney failure or uh, like shit. overdose. But, but, you know, just the media, uh, didn't he say something about the critics too on that song? Yeah. Yeah. what he say? I don't even remember what he said about the critics. Honestly. Let me look. Young Thug said he did and got, um, kidney failure before. You know, from drinking that shit. Man, all them niggas got kidney failure and they still drink it. Codeine on me, your colon. Nah, I probably pass that shit. Fuck it. Alright, we can start the video, so. How long that is? That's six minutes.